So here's another um, thing about the Browns, and, and this one, since week seven, and, and Jake Trotter tweets this out, opposing raw QBR, 35.2 first, opposing total QBR adjusted for QBR strength, 42.7 second, first in um, QBR with man coverage, EPA is yeah. fifth, efficiency is fifth, passing yards allowed first, uh, interceptions per attempt seventh, yards allowed per drop back 5.5. And that's fourth. Um, the problem is the first six weeks were a train wreck when they needed them. Um, so, I, again, I, um, you can't have, you know, a, a defense that plays better when the games don't matter because you basically are on the brink of being eliminated from playoff contention. So I, I guess what I'm saying is that should not be a reason to keep the status quo. I feel like we had this conversation a year ago, didn't we? Yeah. Like, doesn't this seem like eerily familiar? Uh, that's. I hope that that resonates in Berea because uh, I, I, I can't fathom the fan reaction if they bring Joe Woods back. Uh, let alone a, a lot of us in the media will will have our knives sharpened for it. And look, Joe Woods is a good guy, and I think we've seen that he can make the adjustments. But dude's got like this season's lost because he was lost at the beginning of the season. Uh, I don't want to put it all on him. The players obviously didn't execute all that well, and they did have some injuries. But it, it, it's a recurring theme, and that's a recurring theme that's keeping the Browns out of the playoffs, and that's that's not where this team can be, not, not with the, the roster that they have. 